Chances are you're more than familiar with the threat of a zombie apocalypse. And while most of us have some idea of what we'd do in case of a zombie outbreak, the sad fact is, most people are gonna have the same ideas as you. Luckily, you stumbled upon the perfect video to seriously strengthen your strategy for survival. Because today I've gathered up some of the most obscure and brilliant inventions that are sure to make your zombie survival a guarantee. Ready to become a top tier survivalist? Let's get it on! Body Armor no matter how well defended any apocalypse-proof bunker is, at one point or another you've got to make runs for supplies when they're running low. And when that time inevitably comes, your best bet for staying safe from any encroaching zombies with their mouths agape is the incredible PPSSSR body armor. While most body armor is made from softer materials, this vest is made from a totally impenetrable material that's both lightweight, making it perfect for staying light on your feet in case of the real possibility of having to make a quick getaway and resistant to pretty much anything you can throw at it. Knives? Nope. Slashing blades? Not a problem. And with it being resistant to all that, you think some flimsy teeth are getting anywhere close enough to infect you? Fat chance. Plus, if movies and shows have taught us anything, it's that other people are a much bigger threat in the apocalypse than the undead themselves. Staircase Treadmill even though it's well known that zombies entirely lack intelligence, given enough time and, well, enough zombies, they'll eventually figure out a way to open or break down a door or shamble their way up a tall flight of stairs, which makes most people's first lines of defense pretty much useless. However, with this seemingly impractical, but in the case of a zombie apocalypse, genius invention, the staircase treadmill by YouTuber Colin Furs, you'll be sitting safe and sound with even the most massive horde of zombies safely kept at bay. The treadmill can even give a fitness expert a truly tough time ascending to the second floor, so a stumbling mess of a zombie has no chance of ever doing anything but flying backwards if they ever set foot on it. Step up is simple. You just pop the treadmill on top of any old staircase, and you've now got a zombie-proof second floor. Plus, as an added bonus, anytime you've got to get up to your second-story bunker, you'll have to best the treadmill yourself, keeping you in great shape for the many times you'll likely need to outrun the undead. Bunker for the rich and wealthy few of the world, the thought of a bunker for an apocalyptic scenario is just par for the course. Another small expense to maintain your luxury lifestyle well beyond the expiration of society. But you're probably crafty enough to realize that once the zombies take over, their Ferraris and Lambos will have a hard time even making it to their plush luxury bunkers. And you can be one of the first to snag one for yourself. To find the best bunker around, you'll want to head over to Larry Hall's Doomsday Proof Community, a luxury community made from abandoned U.S. nuclear missile silos. This forward-thinking community was made to maintain the opulent life for those who thrived in society once it all falls apart. Buried 175 feet underground, the insane silo features indoor golf courses, an entire floor turned into a pool with a water slide, a movie theater, and elegant, fully stocked bars. You and 70 of your closest friends can take up residence in some seriously decked out high-end apartments and live like they do on the other side while over 100 feet above you, the zombies pick apart the people who were too slow to get into your hyper-secure bunker. Window and Door Protection while it's fun to imagine crazy ways to ride out the zombie apocalypse, let's look at some less radical and more realistic survival plans, and what's more realistic than simply zombie-proofing the home you already have? The last thing you want is to lock your doors and bunker up inside, only to find that every window in your house is nothing but a weak point for undead intruders to easily exploit, because broken glass isn't really a worry for the mindless flesh eaters. Even a strong door will eventually give way under the pressure of enough zombies, but doors and windows reinforced with special grids can stand up to pretty much anything the apocalypse can throw at them. These special mesh covers make glass impervious to baseball bats, axes, and even blades. Not even a gunshot can do more than leave a little mark on these reinforced glass panes, so it's not looking too good for undead human teeth having any chance of breaking through. Luckily, these measures can be taken ahead of time and with discretion, so your neighbors don't think you're some crazy prepper and just understand you're looking up for the safety of your home and family. Mini gun. Alright, so worst case scenario, your neighborhood is being entirely overrun by zombies and you didn't take any of the other precautionary tips we've talked about. Well, when hordes of zombies are shuffling towards your last bastion of defense in insurmountable numbers, there's definitely no better way to even the odds than with a minigun. Don't let the name fool you. This thing is anything but small. Miniguns are rotating bullet blasters that can fire a blistering two to 6,000 rounds a minute, making quick work of even a town-sized amount of undead. 
While we all know that you've got to take out the brain to finish off a zombie, if their legs and bodies are detached, it doesn't matter if they're still biting. They're not a threat anymore. And with so many rounds, you're sure to get at least a few hundred headshots. Without a doubt, anyone smart enough or maybe crazy enough to have a minigun is going to be the surefire sole survivor of a zombie apocalypse of any scale. Zombie Proof Vehicle Conquest vehicles specialize in making the highest end vehicles that can take a serious beating available in the entire world. And while they can easily breeze through an active war zone, a nice side effect is that they've inadvertently made the perfect zombie proof tank, known as the Knight XV. This street legal machine is decked out in carbon fiber armor that can withstand bomb blasts, bounce off high caliber bullets, and will completely shatter the teeth of any zombie stupid enough to try and take a bite out of it. The Knight could ride over a horde of zombies zombies without the driver probably even noticing. And anyone lucky enough to be behind the wheel of this bad boy when the outbreak begins will be cruising in style without a worry in the world. The luxury vehicle comes equipped with playstations, laptops, and flat screens for an awesome mobile entertainment unit that's entirely impenetrable. Absolutely nothing, living or dead, is getting past the bulletproof windows and 160 kilograms vault doors that'll keep you safe as you relax, play, or just cruise the traffic-free roads of the post-apocalyptic world in style. Floating House it's a well-known fact that zombies lack the coordination to be able to swim, meaning that putting a body of water between you and them is a surefire way to survive. And while private islands might be a bit too out there for the average survivor, a floating home provides the perfect shelter for the rise of the undead. A house is always the most comfortable place for a person to sleep, with all the comforts we've come to know and love. But with the added safety of being out on the water so you can actually sleep soundly, unlike anyone worrying about the hordes outside their homes on land. And floating houses provide plenty of room to stock up on a ton of supplies, so your trips to the shore can be as infrequent as possible. Some floating homes even have their own solar-powered generators, so you'll still be able to enjoy electricity and maybe even the internet for as long as it's still running. The best part is, unlike an island, which can essentially become a prison if zombies start stacking up along the surrounding shores, floating houses are completely movable, so you can comfortably pull up to a safe location close to supply depots and far from her of hungry zombies, all while in the comfort of your own home. Iron Man Suit Ever wonder why it's always regular people facing zombies in all the movies and not, say, <laughs> a superhero? Well, that's because superheroes would have no problem totally halting any slow-moving zombies in their tracks. One hero that would make absolute mincemeat of hordes of zombies is the beloved Iron Man. Zombies are no match for him at all. And with this insane real-life iron suit made by Gravity Industries, you'll have the same unbeatable advantages. The suit can fly up to 32 miles per hour and shoot the rider up to 12,000 feet in the air with its powerful turbines. The backpack attachment stores extra fuel for longer flying times and you can blast off over any terrain. So obstacles that might be insurmountable for the undead like lakes and oceans are no problem at all for the craft survivor in you. While today these suits cost over $443,000, in the apocalypse money's no longer such a big worry so just grab the first one you see, attach a firearm to one of the turbines and you'll have a blast slaying hordes of zombies from a safe distance thousands of feet in the the sky. Zombie Stopping Cars if you're gonna be braving the apocalypse, it really wouldn't make much sense to drive through zombie-filled wastelands in a boring old minivan, which is why these Mad Max-inspired monster vehicles are the ultimate vehicles for absolutely dominating the zombie apocalypse. Made with all sorts of crazy defensive and offensive contraptions, I guarantee that nothing and nobody is getting anywhere near you while you're behind the wheel. Now you might be worried about getting mobbed by a massive horde, but that's no problem when you've got a massive circular saw blade to cut them down by the thousands while you sped out in reverse. Or you can just as easily mow them down in this pneumatic front bumper strong enough to flip a car, so just imagine what it'll do to a mindless body. And as if all that weren't enough to prove just how awesome these post-apocalyptic sets of wheels are, this one's packing heat, literally. With armor thick enough to handle a close-range explosion, no amount of gnashing teeth are ever getting past these metal frames. All in all, these wild wheels are the ultimate ride if you want to survive. Protective Boots 
Being light on your feet is crucial for all aspects of a zombie outbreak. From running from the hordes to making quick supply runs outside your shelter, your feet are your most valuable asset in the post-apocalyptic world. That's why a pair of protective boots is one of the best investments you can make towards ensuring your survival. And Nicola's universal work boots are truly the best you can get. Reinforced with steel and leather protection, these boots keep your feet from even noticing bumps, branches, or other obstacles that would otherwise leave you wincing long enough to get eaten. The material is even strong enough to weather the blade of a chainsaw without being any worse for wear. Plus, they've got comfortable padding inside so your ever-important feet don't get hurt or tired while you're running, and they're completely waterproof so you don't have to worry about trudging through lakes and other obstacles that'll keep the zombies off your tail. Psst, hey, you still there? Well, since you made it this far, here are all the shoutouts we promised everyone that commented on our previous video. If you want to be shouted out in our next upcoming video as well as the ones prior, just make sure you're subscribed to the channel and leave a comment down below saying, pick me. Once you're at it, you might as well leave a like too.